Thank you, right honorable speaker. Invaluably, sobriety cannot elude us when debating very serious matters. This is the House of Parliament, and uh, I suppose the public construes it as such. Before the Prime Minister of the Republic makes her statement on the subject matter, she must prove to this parliament that she's a serious person. By the time she comes to the house, she was in Chankwansi, and I told her you must come to the house. The issue is about the women. She's, she's serious. She's a very serious person. Macho yeah? Black, right honorable speaker. And I can see, right honorable speaker, that the Prime Minister is visibly angry with my use of the word serious. And I will conceptualize it, right honorable speaker. You, you just withdraw your statement, honorable. I beg of you. Let us speak up for now. us to have this thing go conclusive. I, I am going to withdraw at the, as my last statement. Let us speak up. At the beginning of this session, with your indulgence, I played a video in this House of Parliament quoting the Prime Minister about a citizen that has disappeared for three years. Now you're destroying my women's debate. Oh, no, 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 speaker, allow me to make my statement. The Prime Minister was supposed, you ordered the Prime Minister. Uh, uh, there is an order from the Prime Minister. She's not a woman. She needs respect like any other woman. <laughs> right on a level, speaker and colleagues. Uh, Honorable Prime Minister, Light Honorable, Light Honorable Speaker and colleagues, I became Prime Minister, I'm almost making two years since when I became a Prime Minister. I have tried my level best to serve my country. I am one of those patriotic Ugandans. You have not tried, you have done it. Is it in order for my brother to say that I am any serious? Is he in order? Honorable, Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister, I know you as a very a very serious person, and that's why you're here. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker, and I've said. Are we the draft are making my statement? Let us speak. This is unlike me, and I should be understood. Let us speak. The Prime Minister has been in office for three years. For two years. She made a comment that she is in the knowledge of a citizen that has disappeared for will be three years on 3rd June this year. Honorable. Honorable. Let us speak up. Allow me to make this statement. Honorable Law, I will allow you to make that statement after we have discussed about the women. Why, why you, are you being discriminative? Why don't you want us to talk about our you, women? You know, right honorable speaker, it's after that she's proved that she was either lying that she listened to her statement as no, serious. No. We are putting into context her statement because that statement she made that she's aware of the here about Sovu Chibalama and she's never surrendered him to the public and she wants us to listen to her on another statement that's why i was putting seriousness in the context right on the speaker right on the speaker will the prime minister rise and inform the country where chivalama is that we can listen to her as a serious leader in this country you said you know where he is the family for two years and 11 months, they're looking for Chibalama. Only you know where he is. Will you tell us where a husband of a woman and a father is? You said you know. Is it you in the order for you? Where is Chibalama? You, you are, are finished. finished. I have, have reason to even not listen to you other than quarreling. You are quarreling. A citizen has disappeared. I have reason to quarrel. You are finished. You have a measure. You are right on the speaker. Uh, uh. You know. I handle matters mildly and I give people time. 
when I raise my voice, I have no information to give to Alma's wife. She has it for two years and 11 months. I do what I've said. And the Prime Minister is happy about it. So your, your, your seriousness for now is in perspective, right, Lord Speaker? Yeah. I, I withdraw to allow today's debate, but I hold your seriousness in the context. Thank you.